Hello and welcome to my first look at the Horus Heresy Siege of Terror Echoes of Eternity novel by Aaron Dembski Bowden. Now, this isn't a review. Uh, I always like to give you first looks at uh, you know any of the 40k. Age of Sigma, Horus Heresy novels that I uh, pick up. Um, there's a number of, of books now under the books uh, playlists if you wanted to have a look. And I think it is useful uh, because I give you the number of pages. Uh, I go through the paper quality and I'll tell you when it's uh, published and I read you the, the preface. Um, just give you an idea of whether you know the book is sort of worth your money. And I'd love to read these books super quick and get you a review, like a non-spoiler review out. Um, but sometimes that's just not the case. However, I will set apart, uh, you know, reading this uh, immediately. Um, this book will cost you £20 or you can wait for many months uh, for it to come out in paperback and then it will only cost you £7.99. Probably with a discount, you might be able to pick it up for like a fiver or something. Um, up to you if you want to do that. These are quite special books though. These are the last sort of eight books of a big 56, you know, book sort of, saga um so but uh yeah this is um written by aaron dembski bowden they've already announced uh the next book by dan abnett um it's volume one i'm thinking there'll be volume you know two or maybe three volumes for the final sort of book but um this book uh will set you back uh minus the acknowledgements, uh, 522 pages. So it's a nice thick book, you know, it's not the 600, 700 pages or anything. So it's a it's a good chunky book. I've been waiting for this since I put down uh, Warhawk. I'm always hungry to find out the next uh, the next amount. I think, um, I'd like to think that the end and the death uh, is coming out, you know, this year, but it might be start of next year. Um, let me read you the preface. Uh, the walls have fallen, the defender's unity is broken, the inner palace lies in ruins, the Warmaster's horde advances through the fire and ash of terror's dying breaths, forcing the loyalists back to the Delphic battlement, the very walls of the Sanctum Imperialis. Angron, herald of Horus, has achieved immortality through annihilation. Now he leads the armies of the damned in a wrathful tide, destroying all before them as the warp begins its poisonous corruption of terror. For the Emperor's beleaguered forces, the end has come. The Khan lies on the edge of death. Rogal Dawn is encircled, fighting his own war at Bab Bastion. Gilliman will not teat will not reach terror in time. Without his brothers, Sanguinius, the angel of the Ninth Legion, waits on the final battlements, hoping to rally a desperate band of defenders and refugees for one last stand. Oh, it's very, very dire. Um, it was published... Uh, so the beauty about these Siege of Terror books is that it gives you a list of every single Horace Heresy book. The downside of that is good luck finding them all <laughs> because you can't even pick up, like... Um, the, the Heralds of Siege, which is book 52. You can pick up a few of the first sort of um, 10 books, maybe, maybe 14 books, but from uh, Prospero Burns and onwards, no, then they don't sell them. Um, yeah, you could say they're like 10, 11 years old, but still, you know, it would be nice to have them still in circulation, even just in paperback. Uh, you can't even go to the Warhammer HQ and pick them up either. It's uh, neither of the Primark novels. It's such a shame considering that Horus Heresy is now in plastic and it's a, a main game system. Although I kind of thought it would happen anyway. <laughs> I know my expectations are so low, but um, yeah. Uh, it was published in 2022 so this has all come from 2022 uh, it is made in it's printed in china of course uh, that's where they have their factory that print uh, books i won't go through the uh the pictures in here because they probably are a bit spoilerific uh but you know there are pictures dotted about here which um just go to you know just support what you're reading and give you you know give you a bit of a, an idea but it's a lovely book you know book seven I can't wait. I'm going to go grab a coffee and start it straight away. What do you guys think? 
of Echoes of Eternity, please do put your thoughts and opinions uh, down below. As always, uh, are you thoroughly looking forward to this when you do pick it up? And of course, the end and the death. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.